Now, we will talk about the decimal quotient. We have natural numbers divided by each other. We used before to put the quotient and uh, to state for the teacher that the quotient is blah blah blah, the remainder is blah blah blah, and we have finished. Today, no, we are not finished yet. Suppose we have 96 divided by 5. So, let's make it in this way, 96 divided by 5, let's divide it. 9 divided by 5, it is 1. 1 times 5, 5. Now subtract, 9 minus 5 is 4. Now, break the 6 down, 46 divided by 5, it is simply 9. 9 times 9, nine sorry, times 5, it is 45. Let's subtract them, we will obtain only 1. And in this way, we say for the teacher, teacher, we are finished. The quotient is 19 and the remainder is 1. No. In grade 5, you are not finished yet. You need to complete. How? All what you have to do is to insert a decimal point here and a zero here. So, it is 10 divided by 5. It is 2. 2 times 5, it is 10. Now, can we subtract? Yes. What is the final remainder? Zero. Now we can say for the teacher we are finished. It is 19.2 and the remainder should be zero. Thank you.